<clears throat> hey, video number two in one weekend. I must have some time on my hands. Actually, I'm procrastinating, cleaning my bedroom. I started it, and then I thought, time for a break. Oh wait, if I don't get this on, you know me. So, uh, forgive the lighting. When I do a morning video here, the lighting is gray, and late afternoon or evening I have to get a desk lamp, and it's all funky and reflective, and so I apologize. Um, <clears throat> So Ms. Janie uh, put a shout out for some video responses to some questions that were posed to her and they were really great questions and I've spent the last couple days sort of pondering on them because those were big questions in my journey and questions I continue to um, deal with. So uh, anyway, so here's my video response in just over eight minutes. Um, so the question number one was, what motivates you when you're not feeling very motivated? How do you, you know, get yourself to do what you need to do? And this was big for me because I had a really hard time starting to exercise and I kept telling myself I needed to do this and I needed to do that and, you know, and I procrastinate and I was just like this chronic procrastinator. Um, and, uh, and there was some fear because I hadn't moved around very much for the last couple of years, but, you know, really just procrastination. And... Um, I guess what made me start getting it was um, the realization that this surgery is the end of the road for me. Like, what else is there to do? I've already done it all. I already did, you know, Weight Watchers and Overeaters Anonymous and The Zone and Adkins and, you know, being a vegetarian and, um, you know, bulimia and you know like okay I've tried just about everything I could think of out there so um, what else is left and so this has to work and um, I believe that it can work that doesn't mean my head doesn't tell me every day that I'm going to be the exception and it's going to quit working any minute but you know you can't watch a lot of videos and talk to a lot of people and do a lot of research and realize that you know it can work so um, with this tool, um, I can take all the willpower and self-discipline and drive and organizational skills and talent and um, creativity and I can muster all that stuff that I move mountains with in other parts of my life and combine it with this tool and actually have that be effective in the area of my weight and health where that was the one area I couldn't move mountains in. I couldn't move a molehill. I, I couldn't move breadcrumb. So, um, so I think when I get motivated, I have to focus on what it is that I want. And um, getting what I want means doing what I need to do instead of what I want to do. You know, I needed to get knee surgery, so I did. And I needed to get hip surgery, so I did. And I realized I needed to get my weight loss surgery, so I did. But now that I've had weight loss surgery, what is it that I need to do? I need to exercise, I need to get so much protein a day, I gotta get so much water a day, I gotta take my vitamins a day. And so that's kind of, it boils down to choice. The power of my success is all mine, it's completely my responsibility, and it boils down to little tiny choices every second, every minute of the day. And um, I think that hit me when Miss Janie put out a video where she kind of got in your face of like, you know, do you really want it? Or, And that was like, whoa, you know, because do I want it? Well, yeah, of course. Oh, really? Oh, really? Because if you really want it, then you'll get your buns out of bed and you'll go get on your exercise machine. If you really want it, you'll take that vitamin even if it does taste like recycled chalk. You know, um, you know that question when you really think about it made me realize that there is no excuse, that this is my responsibility and it's all a matter of choice. And choosing to do what I need will get me what I want. I'm watching the timer. Um, 
The second question was, well, how does your ability to keep yourself motivated change after weight loss surgery? How does the surgery affect that, that commitment or that ability? I should have these questions verbatim, sorry. I'm having internet problems. I hope I can post this soon because I haven't been able to get on all day. Um, but anyway, uh, what is the difference after weight loss surgery? Well, you know what? For me, the birth of hope, or I should say the rebirth of hope. Because prior to surgery, I felt old and used up and worn out and just done. And um, surviving was the best I could expect. And um, with this surgery, there was hope that that did not have to be that way. That I didn't have to be fat and in pain and uncomfortable and um, tired forever. And I didn't have to die prematurely. And, you know, that there was a possibility I could change all of that. And as the scale told me, I was losing weight because I had to lose a lot of weight before it actually started to register in my brain. Um, as the scale told me I was losing weight, I got excited again. And um, I got excited about life and the possibilities again. Like, just maybe, you know, I could ride a bike again. Um, so it was those little things that made me more willing to do what I needed to do to keep on track. And um, I would just remember where I came from. You know, if I want to keep going, I need to keep doing what I need to do because that's what's got me from where I came from. And where was I? You know, where was I one year ago? Okay, well, one year ago, I couldn't go anywhere unless I was in a wheelchair or on an electric handicapped scooter. Um, I couldn't stand in line. I couldn't go shopping. I couldn't go to the mall. I could no longer go to movies. I couldn't walk anywhere. Um, the most I could walk was from my front door to my car. Um, so I was very limited. I stopped visiting people. I stopped going places. Um, I couldn't go grocery shopping without a handicapped grocery card. If you didn't have an electric handicapped grocery card, then I couldn't shop at your store. I couldn't do laundry. I couldn't stand long enough to wash dishes or cook. I couldn't trim my toenails, shave my legs, tie my shoes, put on my socks. I had to get um, tools and equipment to help me get dressed. I couldn't stand for more than a minute. I couldn't stand long enough to take a shower. Um, if something fell on the floor, I couldn't pick it up. If something spilled on the floor, I couldn't clean it up. Um, I couldn't walk the dog. I couldn't take the trash. I couldn't clean house. I got more and more dependent on my daughter, who was approaching an age where she should have been thinking about going off to college and starting her own life, and instead probably felt some responsibility or obligation to stay home and tie my shoes so I could go to work. So that's where my life was by the time I got to having my surgery. And that's what I need to remember. If getting on my exerciser or taking my chalky vitamins or drinking water I don't feel like drinking or whatever um, is what is between me and going back to that place because you know what, I can do all of those things now. I can walk all I want, I can stand all I want, I can move all I want, I'm completely independent. So. That's it. There's the timer. Hope that helped um, answer or give another kind of answer to the questions. And uh, looking forward to everybody else's response.